Hello and welcome to Devils with Mike. Every resume gives every recruiter the opportunity to have the first grips, the first understanding about you. In this video, I will take out time to clearly give you the key things which every resume for a Devils role or a cloud computing role should have. There are many people who have various platforms where they've gone to to look for maybe how to write their resume, how to position themselves for their first role, what skill set to have, and what things are there, or what technologies you should list out in your resume. I'll take out time in this video to walk you through your resume starting from how to basically present yourself from the address section and then which skill set you should be able to put in your resume and how to really put those skill sets there are many people who have different schools of thought as far as resumes are concerned but i always encourage people that whatever it is make sure your resume gives that recruiter the first impression that you want them to have about you assuming that you're going to have a physical opportunity to meet your recruiter and you're going to tell that recruiter i'm this and this and this and this person i have this and this skill set i can deliver this for you I have this particular uh, preference working in an environment. I feel free working with team members. I feel free collaborating with team members. Now, all these things you can say to an interviewer or to put the first impression physically are the same things which you want to convey in your resume, right? Those are the first things or the same things you want to convey in your resume. I'll take out time in this video to walk you through all the key things that you must highlight in your resume and not just highlight those things, but there are other techniques which you need to be effective when taking your interviews because during your interview, Interviews, like I said, the recruiter will make sure that what you have in your resume matches who you are. So oftentimes people go for interviews and they just copy stuff on the internet and they put on their resumes without knowing what some of those stuff are, without knowing how some of the services work. And when they go for interviews, the interviewers definitely will frustrate them. Now, one of my major tips that I give people during interviews or during preparing their resumes for interviews is for every word that you have in your resume, for every letter that you have in your resume, make sure you can't defend those words. A couple of friends have gone for interviews and maybe they have no idea about Python, they have no idea about Linux, or they have no idea about cloud orchestration within Kubernetes, or they have no idea about uh, infrastructure as code with Jenkins or, or automation with Ansible and so on. And they just copied all those technology skill sets and put in their resume. Now, when they went for interviews, a recruiter taking their file, the first thing they saw was, hey, this guy knows infrastructure as code. Now, the recruiter's first question will be, for example, if their need is someone who can automate or who can transform the infrastructure from maybe console into code, the first thing after looking at your resume and your resume has that you have skills in infrastructure as code maybe with Terraform, the recruiter definitely will key or will put more focus on that skill set which you have or which you said you have on your resume. That is, if you said you have uh, Terraform experience, the recruiter will take out time to dwell more on Terraform, asking you questions around Terraform, maybe how to modularize code, how to write variables, how to write output, and all those intricacies that have to do with Terraform, Terraform state files, locking Terraform files and all of that. So, those are the questions that the recruiter will want to ask so much about. But now, mind you, if you copy that you have skills in infrastructure as code and put in your CV, the moment the interviewer asks you about that, when you have no idea about, you then begin to fumble and that won't get you your first job. So make sure for every word that you have in your resume, you have the ability to back that up. And another trick which I give people during interviews is the moment you start talking about your skill set, because of course they're going to ask you, who are you? Your resume should be a guy of defining who you are in an interview, right? That is to say that if you are to start with your address, my name is Mike. I'm a DevOps engineer with five years of experience as a, as a senior DevOps engineer. I have a proficient experience working in AWS Cloud or, or Microsoft Cloud. And over the past five years in my journey, I've been able to work for several, 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 several companies. Now, I have experience knowledge in automation, I have experience knowledge in server administration, I have experience knowledge in infrastructure as code, I have experience in, in, in containerization, I have experience in Jenkins, continuous integration and deployment. Now, once you start dishing out all those key intricacies in your interview, matching them with your resume, a recruiter then will not have the opportunity to ask so many questions because you've been able to articulate what you have as a skill set into what you have in your resume. So these are some of the tips that you should take into account when designing a resume. Equally, if you have a challenge or a difficulty producing your resume, make sure you leave that in the comment section and I will help you to make your resume and get you ready for your first job. Thank you.